this boy needs an adventure and I'm going to suggest that so do you. So let's put down a drum and invite mystery and ancient places into our lives. Welcome to West Kennet Long Barrow. As we go into the chamber, we become challenged by light itself. We can no longer really see. But when we look back at the entrance, we can get a feeling of what it must have been like. This style of burial chamber is called a long barrow. And in fact, this is one of the longest chambers around here in Britain in such pristine condition. We're very, very lucky to be able to see it and walk into it. The chamber faces east. So at one point in time, the rising sun would have illuminated the gallery that we see in front of us. And for about a thousand years, this place was used by the people of this land. Just in front of you right here, you can see some obvious soft channels going across this rock and what these actually were were channels that were created by rubbing flint axes backwards and forwards to polish them and that was probably done even before they used and erected this stone into this chamber It's hard to imagine the sheer effort that would have gone in to drag in each one of these stones and creating this. And what that tells us is how important death and the afterlife were to these people. It was a hugely significant turning chapter to people. We look right across these lands at places like Stonehenge and Silbury Hill and Avebury and Woodhenge and all these wonderful places now regarded as ancient monuments that these people went to the effort to create in the attempt to present their loved ones with an entrance into the afterlife. At the beginning of the Bronze Age, three large stones were placed at the entrance to finally seal the chamber up. I think this gives us an opportunity to look back at them people and see them realising themselves as part of the land, part of the skies and part of each other and holding everything that they had quite dearly together. <laughs> 